Hello, hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Quizzel tutorial. In it, I'll be showing you how to use Quizzel step by step as a beginner. Quizzel is a platform that is created to allow its users to create interactive, easy to understand quizzes. So, with Quizzel, whether you are a business owner that is using it to engage with your customers, or you're an educator or you're simply a content creator and you would like to interact with your viewers, this is definitely the platform for you. And with Quizzel, you can get started for completely free. As you can see with their pricing plan, they offer a free forever package. I'll be leaving a link in the description that you can use to sign up. Once you have signed up, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you can tap on verification email and they will send you a verification email. What I've come to realize is to receive this verification email, some of the time you will not receive it in your inbox. So I recommend that you check your spam email and you will see it right there. Once you have tapped on verify email, you will be redirected to this page. And this is your home page. And from here, you can create your first quiz. And also a standout feature when it comes on to Quizel is it offers numerous integrations which we will be looking into later on. So you're going to tap on create your first quiz. After selecting create your first quiz, from here you can either choose to start from a template or you can choose to create with, uh, with AI or import questions. So we're going to select start from template after you have done that, you can see the different templates that you can choose from. And by the way, you can also change the category or industry by tapping right where you see all industries. So let's say, for example, I want to go in the health and fitness niche. I could select that option. And then you can see the different templates that I could choose from. So let's say we were to select this template, the supplements template. After selecting it, you could give the quiz a name, then you'll tap on create. After selecting create, you will be redirected to this page. On this page, you will now be able to edit your quiz. So this will be the first page, which would be the home page. You can edit the home page so you could select the picture that is currently there. Then go over to the left hand menu option and tap on choose image and you could change the image. If you would like to change the layout, you could select to the right as you can see right there. Or you can select background and you can see how it looks. So we are going to leave it on the left. Then you could select the text and you could go over to the top left hand corner. And you could edit the text as you can see right there. You can also tap on the header and you could edit the header. You can also edit the button right here if you want. And by the way, if it is a case that you would like to add element, you can do that. So let's say you would like to add a text box or a timer. You can simply drag and place the timer wherever you want. Keep in mind to do that, you'd have to go on the paid plan. But when it comes onto the text, I could tap on add text. I can also add HTML on the free plan. And then we could tap on the text and you could edit the text. And going along, you can select the other page by tapping on the page at the bottom left hand corner right here. And then you can edit the questions that are currently there. So you can tap on the current questions. Or better yet, we could change the question right there. What is the number of times you work out a week? You can leave it as is. Then you can select right here the different options that persons will have. And you can edit the answers from the left hand menu option as you can see here. If you would like to change the question type, so you can tap right there and you could provide them with the sticky option. You could also provide them with the photo option so you could add photos right there or you can add a drop down question as you can see right there so you can select whichever one of these layouts best suits you and you can also add more questions by tapping on add option right there and you could add more options if you want and again if you would like to change the picture you can tap right there on the pick and you could change the picture you can also change the settings. So if you would like it to be multiple choice, you could toggle on multiple choice. You can also select whether you would like it to have a definite answer and you could select master question. Or if you would like to select or offer them the option to skip question, you can select skip question right there. 
and we can go to the other page and on the other page right here you can see the picture we could choose a different pic so I could tap on choose image then after doing that we could choose to upload an image so I'm just going to be selecting a random picture for example say so let's say this pic then we'll tap on open after the picture has been added as you can see right there you can see how it looks then you could tap on the current questions that are there then go over to the left hand menu option and once again you can edit the questions and answer and you can continue doing that for each page going along and if you would like to add um, one more page you can tap on add page in the bottom right hand corner then you can select the page type so whether you would like to add a lead page which would be the front page or the page that you will be directing persons to you can choose to add a question page and you can select the question type and if we were to add the payment option which I will be showing you how to do you could add the payment option right there to set up the payment option all you will need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and tap on settings after tapping on settings from there the first thing I want you to do you could change the currency so we we'll leave the currency as is then from there you're going to tap on configuration from the top navigation bar so we're going to select configuration right here and we're going to tap first let me save the changes so I'll tap on save in the bottom right hand corner after the changes have been saved we're going to select configuration and we're going to tap on leave after tapping on leave from here you can see all of the integrations that you can add so you could select payment after selecting payment from here you can tap on add more integrations then you will select payment and you can add PayPal for free and you can also add Stripe but you would need to be on their paid plan and if we were to select marketing for example you can see that there are numerous integrations that you can offer for completely free whether that is active campaign convert kit Clavio or so on you can also select e-commerce and you can see the different e-commerce platforms that you can add it on so you can add it onto Shopify, BigCommerce, Webflow, Wix and WooCommerce so once you have set up the different integrations that you would like to use we can go back and select products then from there you could add products so you could add a product that you would like to redirect persons to by tapping on add new product in the top right hand corner you could add in your product title and product name if you want and to access your quiz to share it you will tap on quizzes in the top left hand corner then tap on the three dots then you will tap on share after you have tapped on share you will be redirected to this page and we could tap on embed on a web page for example then you could select full page then tap on save changes and copy the link and for example let's say I were to go onto Google Sites so let's do that real quick once on Google Sites all you'll need to do now you'll simply tap on blank site for example and you could do this also on WordPress or on Wix or any other website so for example if we're using Google Site I could select pages from the top right hand corner hover over the plus in the bottom right hand corner then select full page embed and I'm just going to call this test then tap on done then we'll tap on add embed and select embed code and we'll paste in the code right here then tap on next then select insert and you can see the quiz page right here you can see it is loading up and this is how it will look as you can see there then persons will be able to tap on get started and they can start our quiz so that's how you'll be able to add it onto a website if you want or if you'd like to only share a quiz link and then persons will be able to do the quiz you could select share your quiz link and copy the link right there if we were to go back to the home page there is another feature that I also want to show you you can also create an email flow by selecting email flow you could tap on create flow in the bottom right hand corner then from there you can either select a welcome template product recommendations form completion template or your coupon code 
you can see that there are four different templates that you can choose from. And if we were to look on the pricing when it comes on to Quizzle, so let's say we were to select upgrade, you can see the different pricing points. You have $13 per month, which would allow you to in get 500 engagements per month and one quiz. And if you were to go up to $43, you can see the different features and the most expensive would be $175 per month. Again, I'll be leaving a link in the description that you can use. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section.